are doing good in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and make a front overlap skirt if you are visiting this channel for the first time you are highly welcome don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to be notified when i drop a new video thank you and for all my subscribers i really appreciate your support thank you so much god bless you based on the hip measurements we are using we fold the fabric into two the width of the fabric here will be 13 and a half 13 and a half you can see it here the reason is because the hip measurement is 10.5 when we divide 42 by 4 so we now had three inches to hit that makes it 13.5 inches you can see that there are two fabrics here this is the front skirt and this is the the back one the back skirt you can see that the back skirt is more than is longer than the first one the reason is because we have to leave one inches for the zip so the length you are going to cut for the back skirt is going to be longer than the front one we have to leave half an inch half an inch I'm going to roll across the line what we are going to do first is to measure our waist to hip so waist to hip if you take your measurement and measure yourself from your waist to hip is nine so we are using nine for the hip we are going to measure the waist here you, are, you will place your measurement here then if you want to do this you can as well measure your waist yourself whatever you get you will add two inches to it as an allowance the measurement we are using for the waist here is 39 so 39 divided by 4 will give you 9.5 this is it here then you had two inches to hit then you place a measurement here then you start from here they had one two this is the east for heat we are going to roll across the hip line that's the hip line from here to here now we are going to look for the length of the nail so the net nail will be 19 inches that's what we are going to use for the nail so we are going to roll across it as well so the next thing now to do is to place your tape measure at the hip area my hip measurement is 42 so 42 divided by 4 is 10.5 then you had two issues to hit for x or for allowance next thing now is to connect it from ways make a slant curve slant curve to apply my knee measurement is 36 so 36 divided by 4 is 9 it's 9 then i'm going to add three issues to it 
Fahlawat. So I will join it together. I'm going to cut the front fabric out. So we are cutting the second fabric. Mm -hmm. We are going to measure the dots here now. The dot is four and a half. So I will notch so that I'll be able to know where the dot is. Then I will notch the sip area as well. Now I'm going to cut the back into two and the front part as well. So I'm cutting both into two. Let's do the back first. So I have put it aside. Now Remember, we are going to make a slit skirt. If you want to cut it into two, you can as well cut it here, like this, straight down. But I want to let it to be hidden by 1.5 inches here. So I will start my line here, straight down. Then I will cut it straight now.
cutting now you have to decide where you want to place your slip now what i want to do i'm still going to cut a lining for the skirt then i have to let the left fabric to be on top of the right one so this is how it's going to be it's going to be like this this is how it's going to be now you can see that the left one overlapped the right side now so if you want to do it now you know you have to top stitch it here after and you have to know how wide the opening will be like mine now i want it to be 12 so you will measure it from here from up here then you stop at 12 if you want yours to open from 13 or 15 or 20 wherever you just put it here um mark it here i want the opening of my slit i want my slit to stop at 13 here so this is my starting so which means the opening will stop here it will stop at 13 so i will have the opening like this like this to be my opening will be like this but i have to like fold it in so that it can overlap like this so if you open it it will be like this then i have to sew it here and i will toss top stitch it here so this is how it's going to look like this is how the slit is going to look like after sewing you can see how it's open here is the skirt you can see it have already saw the lining with it so here is a front dart and this is the second one as well the next thing for you to do is just to sew from up here down here down 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 you sew it down to where the pin is have already tack it down with the pin so this is where the sewing will stop this is where it will stop and this is the place that is overlapped so this is how the skirt is going to look it's going to you know you can see the overlap the overlapping here this is where the skirt is overlapped so so that is it and this is the back as well this is the, uh, that this is the other that the opening space that you are looking at here is the zip area where the zip is going to be inserted so after that you've just close it here after closing it here then you sew it again from here i've already used pin to tack it down as well so you have, you have to sew it from here you have to sew it from where the zip pen here then you sew it straight down you sew it straight down then here as well i fold it into two inches here i fold two inches here so i'm going to sew the down part this way just straight down then the next thing is to sew both the front and the back skirt together but remember that we left some and seam allowance for it so that is the seam that we are going to use we're going to use two inches to sew it to join it together so after joining both sides together you sew it straight here down then you sew this side straight here down as well so your skirt is ready so this is the overlapping skirt you can see where the skirt is overlapped here so it's a lovely skirt so i believe you too can cut and sew the same thing you can make your own skirt as well and let me know in the comment if you are able to do it you can if i can you can do better so i really appreciate 
those of you that have already subscribed so i thank all my subscriber for your support and for those that are visiting this channel for the first time you are welcome to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell for you to be notified when i upload a new video thank you so much for your support till i see you in my next video bye